Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, the last video that I had, I had told you uh, that I was coming to you from an undisclosed location and I uh, wanted to uh, elaborate a little more on that. Uh, the reason that I said that is because I am currently in Bangor, Maine. Uh, and uh, if you haven't guessed already uh, why I would be in Bangor, Maine, uh, it's because I've decided to do a flip-flop uh, hike of the Appalachian Trail this year. And uh, if you've been following me since the beginning, you realize that uh, I had initially planned to do a northbound through hike starting in Springer Mountain, Georgia and ending up in Mount Katahdin in Maine. Uh, that was the initial plan, but uh, you know, plans change. Uh, and you know, there's a lot of reasons <laughs> why I've decided to do a flip-flop this year. Um, and basically I flipped from Harper's Ferry up to Mount Katahdin. So I went northbound from Springer Mountain in Georgia to Harper's Ferry and then I uh, flipped up to Maine uh, and I'm going to start at Mount Katahdin and start heading south and hike uh, the trail southbound from Mount Katahdin down to uh, Harper's Ferry again. Um, and like I just said, there is a ton of reasons uh, why I've decided to do this. And uh, the first most obvious one is I, I started this trail at least 120 pounds overweight. Uh, and this is a hard trail. So I was pretty much forced in the beginning to take my time. I mean, that, that's what you have to do. I saw people dropping like flies uh, in the early parts of the trail because they just were moving too fast. They were simply moving too fast. And it's just not people that were overweight, but just people in general that were just moving too fast for what their body, you know, was allowing them to do because there's no way to really prepare for this trail other than to do the trail. Now, yes, you can start in much better physical condition, uh, you know, than I did, but either way, you know, I learned that I needed to take breaks. I needed to take zero days. Um, you know, I needed to, to keep a kind of a low uh, mile per day average, you know, to stay healthy. And I'm glad I did. Uh, so anyway, fast forward a little bit. Uh, uh, you know, once I got to where I'm pretty healthy, I can, you know, pretty strong. I'm able to do bigger mile days, take less zeros and stuff like that. I learned pretty quick that, yeah, I can still move at a little better of a clip, but... I, <laughs> honestly just made the choice that why would I want to miss out on a lot of experiences that I'm able to have out here on the trail. Um, I did learn pretty early in the trail that the trail is so much less about the trail itself. Well, yes, it's a beautiful, amazing, awesome trail. You see so many cool things, but what it's really about, the really the journey, the experience, the adventure, is about the people that you meet in these towns that you get to see and things like that. At least that's how it is for me. So, you know, I decided that I was just gonna take my time. You know, I'm out here to enjoy this. I didn't come out here for some, you know, I'm not training to do a some crazy endurance event or anything like that. Like, yeah, it's not like, I mean, the trail's hard enough that I get a good endurance challenge pretty much every day. But I didn't come out here to rush through it and just see how fast I could get through the trail or anything like like that or turn it into a job. I, I decided pretty early on that I'm out here to enjoy it. And, and the way that I've enjoyed it was, yes, the trail is amazing and beautiful, but also the little towns uh, that you get to go through and see, the awesome people that you get to meet, they are just as amazing, if not more amazing than the trail itself. So my decision to flip, uh, actually or for for friends and family that may not know why you would even do a flip-flop um it's because mount katahdin in maine closes uh generally sometime between the end of september and the middle of october um and that's because of weather you know once it gets icy it's just it's just not safe uh to be hiking and then like a few months later they actually open uh, the park back up for winter activity but at that point you're dealing with ice axes and you know, it's a whole different world than three season hiking. So that's why you do it. You know, it's, uh, you know, if you're not going to make it there in enough time uh, to actually get there before it closes, then doing a flip flop hike is always a great, uh, a great option. And I never really even considered it so much while I was planning my hike, but I'm really glad that I decided to do it while I was on my hike. And it wasn't at all a last minute decision. A lot of people, they'll just get as far up the trail as they can get. And then once it gets close to, to Mount Katahdin closing, they'll flip up and then southbound from there. But uh, Stuck Norris and I, who have been hiking together, we decided really early on, it was even before we got to Damascus, I think, 
um, that we wanted to do a flip flop because he he's like me. He he enjoys um, you know seeing the towns, meeting the people, things like that. And he started off uh, really overweight too. Um, so we both kind of, uh, we realized it's the right thing to do is to, to pay attention to your body and give it rest and do things like that. But anyways, we made that decision really early on in the journey and I'm really glad we did because we had got to a point to where, you know, you're, you're at camp with people and all you're hearing is this is what I need to average every day to get there on time and all this. And it's honestly a little bit stressful. And like I've said, I, I didn't come out here to to have a stressful hike or to rush through it or anything like that. I came out here to have an amazing experience. And the way I'm able to do that is to take my time. You know, I've taken a lot of side trips, seen pretty much every town, hung out for a while there. It's been an amazing thing. That's actually been a huge highlight of the trail for me. Um, so anyways, we decided really early on that that's what we were gonna do. And, and we stuck to it and we decided on Harper's Ferry to flip at because it's kind of a, uh, like a popular area to flip at. Now I realize why, uh, because it is transportation wise, it's pretty simple to get to get it done. And I'm actually gonna do a video in the future on that, how to flip from Harper's Ferry, because I had no idea, <laughs> none at all. I mean, like I said, I didn't plan on doing it, so I didn't do a ton of research on it before hitting the trail. However, even when I was on the trail, I was just trying to do some quick research and find videos and things on it. And there was like very little to no information on how to do it. And I've got it figured out now, so uh, I will in the future do a video on how to do a flip-flop from Harper's Ferry. Um, so look for that. But anyways, I'm really excited to be here in Maine. It's beautiful so far. The biggest surprise is that it's actually warmer here than it was in Virginia. And uh, from talking to people, it's apparently kind of unseasonably warm. So for this time of year anyway. So anyways, I'm really excited about it. Uh, I'm going to head southbound from... Mount Katahdin back to Harper's Ferry. So you got plenty more trail, you know, to watch. You know, you might as well just stick around and uh, and see what's going on. So we got a lot to come. But uh, anyways, thank you everybody for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back. I know I'm really bad about that. <laughs> I'm pretty bad at making videos too, but uh, I'm even worse at, at responding to comments. I try to get to them, but it's kind of difficult out here on the trail. Uh, but either way, um, I'll be keeping uh, keeping you posted on everything that's going on. I'm really excited about it. Got uh, got the southern part of the trail done. Now it's time to go southbound and do the northern part. So like I said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you, and I'll be talking to you soon.